ServiceNow demo. Good day, folks, and welcome to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you how you can use ServiceNow to your advantage. Now, I must just note that ServiceNow is an extremely complex piece of software. They have a lot of tools, so we will not be able to get through every single item on this video. However, if there's anything that I missed, you can drop a comment down below and we can definitely go through it. So without further ado, I'm going to show you some solutions, some products, and just a general gist of how the platform actually works. So let's get straight in. The first thing we want to do is make sure that we are signed in and we've created an account. And you'll see this by having a letter, the first letter of your name up at the top right hand side. You can see now that I am actually signed in. So in the menu on the right hand side, that drop down menu gives you the opportunity to change the profile settings as well as the help and support portal. Then as you go over, there is a toolbar at the top of the screen and there is a lot of options here. So the first thing we're going to go into is solutions. Over here you can see that the solutions area, um, they have quite a number of items over here such as customer experience, technology excellence, employee experience, operational excellence and hyper automation and low code. So we're going to have a look at one or two of these items we're going to go into customer experience and once you're in here you can have a look at a few things so we've got the solutions over here you can see some of the solutions that they offer you so streamline operations to quickly resolve issues you can also engage customers with easier and smarter service and then you can make field service more efficient so you can see over here these are some of the goals that you can wish to achieve. So if you go into engage customers with easier and smarter service, you can select that as one of your goals. And then if you go down over here, there are some featured products and we can click on that. And over here, you can now choose your desired outcome. So you can either automate self-service requests to the right department to reduce customer effort. And then you can empower agents with a unified workspace and real-time contextual data to resolve issues quickly. So whichever one you desire to be your outcome, you can go ahead and select one. Going down now, you can see here, it says deliver your best outcomes with a solution. Right now, you're going to go down over here and you're going to choose a product that is going to allow you to fulfill your solutions. So over here, you can see that you can use this customer service management. You can also use an automation engine. And in this page over here, the customer service management, you can see that this is what it looks like. And um, there are some headings over here. Your overview gives you the get data sheet. Um, it also gives you the opportunity to read the brief and then you can see the latest releases. You can see here that there is a speed issue resolution. And if you wanna get that report, you can go ahead in there. And then there is a self-service um, for all of the channels that you use. You can go ahead and read that guide. And there's a bunch more information here. So what you want to do over here is go ahead up to platform. And you can go ahead and now you can start using one of these platforms. So you can explore the generative AI. And um, you can also explore the flow designer and the virtual agent. And then you can go down and you can increase your data security levels over here. So that's basically all the platforms that you will use um, for your customer service management. You can also go in here, you can manage your users, your resources. And then of course, if you are looking for pricing, there's a pricing tab. So it doesn't work like one package for everybody. You really have to individualize your product package. So over here it says discover the business value. You go ahead and say calculate value and you can now start choosing your packaging. You tap on get prices over here and you will get prices according to your individual needs. The next thing I'm going to show you is going into the products tab up at the top over here. And you can see over here that there are a few workflows, technology workflows, employee, customer and creator workflows. You can go ahead now and you can tap on any one of them. Let's say we want to go ahead again and look at customer workflows. 
You can drive customer loyalty with connected digital workflows. You can go beyond traditional CRM as well as field service. So you can get some insights over here. This is a basic overview of what the product actually involves. You can see that there are a few subheadings. If you go up to the top again, you can see that there is a products tab over here. We're going to tap on that products tab. You can see here that there's the customer service management, the field service management, and the financial services operations. And there are a few other products over here that you can go in and you can actually set up each one of these products. For example, let us go and have a look at connected operations. We can go into that and it says turn your data into action. So you can see over here. They have an infographic as well as a data sheet that you can access. Then you can also get the pricing straight from this page. You can have a look at some of the capabilities. Uh, they also have all of their resources over here. And then, of course, your packaging. You can see what each one of these packages cost. Going now back into our main toolbar, you can see that it says platform over here. If you're going into platform, you can see that there are a few options as well. You can have a look at some of the things such as the, the latest release, the AI and analytics. You can go into app development, cloud security, integrating other apps into ServiceNow. And then they have a ServiceNow store. You can also have a look at some of the latest innovations, the um, intelligent chatbot performance analytics. You can configure workspaces and then there is a security tab over here. Looking now also at the customers tab, you can have a look at the customer success. You have case studies, customer success center, training and certification. We also have customer support, product documentation, a developer's portal, as well as then the community. If you're having a look at the events tab, you can go ahead here. There's an events calendar, knowledge and a world forums, which basically is all the global events. And then you have virtual events, which is webinars, on-demand webinars, as well as live. And then um, there's some live demos as well that ServiceNow offers and the platform release broadcast. So if you're looking to attend some of these events, this is where you can find everything in one place. So there's quite a bit to do on ServiceNow. The best thing is to go into each and every one of the services find out what it is that you need and go and explore each one of those services i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to drop us a like don't forget to subscribe to the channel again if you have any questions you can leave it in the comment section if you want us to cover something specific about service now drop it in the comment section and let us have a look at what we can do for you we'll see you in the next video cheerio